One of the things that most people do when they're making crystalline glazes is they need to put a catcher underneath to catch the glaze and a little riser to keep the piece off of the bottom. So I have done a million different ways and one of the ways that I like the best is to throw little risers by throwing a tall cone, cutting it, and then making on my slab roller, making little discs and pinching them up. That way I have a hundred of these little risers that can be used at random. And because I'm doing it in a taper, every piece has two different sizes. go all the way down to the bat because this whole thing is going to be hollow. So I keep a taper on it, so it will give me multiple sizes. You can go as high as you want. And so I put preliminary grooves where the rings are going to come out. And when it gets leather hard, I put it back on the wheel and then cut them off. So for now, until it gets leather hard, that's what it looks like. So we're making these catchers that will work with the risers I just threw. And I don't think you can throw them this fast. I've, I've tried it to do with a riser and a catcher all in one is a lot more time. So I'm using this uh, Bellar vertical slab roller which is the best because it never gathers stuff like all other slab rollers do in the studio. So let's just make yourself a little plate. And these are for smaller plates. I do bigger ones where I just cut the circle out. I have some, you can get some four inch pipe and six inch pipe and so on. So. All you're trying to do is make a high enough lip to catch the glaze as it flows down. This clay is pretty soft, so it's little. Give me quite the, the look I want, but it's good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bisque fire these and all the little risers I threw. stack them in the kiln and you can get 
hundreds in a small kiln. Uh, I usually do about 200 pieces at once in one of my smaller kilns. One of the things about risers is you want to make sure that your glaze cannot go down and underneath the riser, which then kind of glues the piece on. So I always have a very slight angle like this. And since I'm going to use these risers either on one side or the other, when I cut this one, trim it like this, then I trim this one like this. Then the, the following one, I will again trim a little bit up. And it's just one or two degrees. Glaze doesn't want to flow uphill. Uh, so let's get started here. And again, this is a little bit wetter than leather hard. It could be, could be harder. So now I'm going to bring this one to an angle. So if you imagine putting your piece on here, and then we'll talk about how we're going to glue it on, uh, that glaze comes down and it's not going to be able to go uphill. So it'll go in maybe a tiny bit and then continue on down. After I've bisked and glazed my piece, I find a riser that matches the bottom of my piece. I then set that on top of the catcher with a special glue, which I'll talk about in another video. It's ready to go.